This is a 1994 Lincoln Continental. It's the Executive Series. It has 112,000 miles on it. Um, it was owned by my neighbor who uh, is an older gentleman and um, he took very good care of it. Uh, the paint is still nice, although he did have a cat and the cat evidently walked on some of it. So there are some scratches on the, uh, on the trunk and on the hood. I don't know if you can see them here, but they're just minor scratches. Um, most of them could be buffed out, but everything else is in great condition. The car runs great. Um, one other thing is, when he backed it into his garage, he hit uh, something in his garage and busted the rear tail light. So I found a replacement, um, original parts that I'm going to get um, before uh, I, it's sold. Um, other than that, I think there's one small dent on this side here. It's not very big, kind of a scratch. And then over this wheel well here, there's a little spot of rust. Um, it's just bubbling. Um, other than that, there's no rust anywhere. The wheels are nice and shiny. The tires are almost brand new. I don't know if I can get a picture. Um, let's see. Kind of hard to see, but the tires are almost brand new. They're all the same, all four tires. Wheels are shiny. We'll look in the inside next. Um, as you can see on the inside, everything is just beautiful. It's perfect. Um, the leather is not torn or ripped anywhere. It's in good shape. Um, the carpet's nice. Um, all I did was vacuum it because there were some just leaves and little things in it from him getting in and out, but uh, other than that, it's very nice. Um, all the controls, uh, power windows, locks, uh, power seat right there to lift the seat, uh, up and down, forward and back, the backrest, uh, it has memory seat also. Um, everything works. Um, the rocker panels, everything is just perfect. Uh, let's see here. Get a picture of the dash. Um, it's got a tape player. Of course, I guess since it's a 1994, it would have a tape player. Uh, cruise control. Um, all these gauges here. I don't know if you can see those. Air conditioning, heat, everything works. Uh, I've got the book. The book's in here. Uh, the trunk release is here. Oh, I have to have the key on to do that, but I'll do that next. Uh, the, the passenger side also has seat controls, uh, power locks, windows, and the power seat. We'll look at the back seat next. Uh, the back seat, just like the front, is in excellent condition. Power windows, it even has an ashtray. <laughs> there. Lighter works, everything. Um, leather seats, the same as the front, they're in excellent condition. Um, backs of the seats. Oh, I forgot the moonroof, too. It has a moonroof. Let me see if I can get that. Moonroof there. Power moonroof. 
which also works good. Um, we'll look in the trunk next and then under the hood and then we'll start it up. Okay, I just turned it on. You can see that the gauges all work, the radio here. The radio, of course we need to put it on FM. Radio works good. Um, you can, you might be able to hear the air compressor. It pumps up the, uh, uh, the air ride system. It turns on when you first turn the key. Pumps up the uh, the uh, air suspension. That all works. Here's the gauges. Let's see, hopefully you can see that. Miles on it. Um, all digital dash. Um, we'll look in the trunk. Okay, and once you turn the key, uh, you can hit the trunk button to open the trunk. You can also see the digital displays, the air conditioning heater, and all of that. Um, AC, fans on high, good cold air, shut it off, you can select the heat, turn it up there, 76, 79, 80, good heat also, um, the radio, Good. The digital dash. There's a hundred and hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred and twelve miles. Uh, shows your gas uh, amount of gas you have left. Um, defroster, and here's your tape players. Six tape changer. I'm going to show you the controls here. Both the driver and passenger have lumbar that works. And uh, the windows, power windows. Everything works good. Uh, the power seat right here. Everything works as it should. Okay, we'll look at the trunk. The trunk is just as clean as everything else. Latch is good. Uh, there's a spare tire. It's just a small spare, donut spare but I don't think it's ever been used. Um, that's pretty much, pretty much it for the trunk. We'll go look under the hood next. Okay, we're under the hood. It's got the 3.8 fuel injected V6. Um, as you can see, it's in very good condition. Um, everything's clean. Um, regular maintenance, he did regular maintenance tune-ups, oil changes on time. There's the air compressor for the air ride suspension. Um, the hood latch works good. Release is nice. Um, I put a brand new battery in it um, just yesterday. So it is brand new. Um, air filter is good and new. Um, all the fluids are uh, they look good, they're clean. Uh, there is a light under there. We'll turn it on next. Okay, starting it up. Starts right up. 
Um, I don't know if you can hear this. I guess we'll be able to tell when we put the video. But the uh, shield, heat shield around the exhaust is loose, so it's rattling. But uh, I don't have uh, a jack to be able to get under this thing. It's so low. Um, but uh, we're going to need to... We'll have that taken care of before somebody buys it also. Um, but it runs very good. Let's take a look under the hood. It runs very quiet. It's very smooth. Um, yeah. That um, exhaust shield is uh, underneath, way in the back, so you can't hear it up here, but uh, the engine is very quiet. Uh, other than that, it, it drives well, the uh, strut, suspension, everything is great, uh, everything works like it should. Um, I'm asking $2,400, the book value is $2,650. Um, for a car uh, this age, it's in absolutely excellent condition. Uh, you can uh, give me a call if you're interested and want to see it. It's 330-401-5773. Thank you.